welcome back to my channel. Today I have done a video for you that will hopefully show you how to make small hooded eyes look bigger. Basically making hooded eyes look bigger is different to making non-hooded eyes look bigger. If you have hooded eyes it is a little bit more difficult. If you use too many shimmers, metallics, foils, glitters, things like that, what they actually do is they will kind of emphasize the hood. So if you apply those kinds of eyeshadows on hooded eyes, it's actually going to reflect the light and it's going to emphasize and highlight the hood of the eye. Of course you can do that if you want to, but this video is going to show you how not to do that. So in this video we're actually going to be using matte colors. And contrary, contrary, and on the contrary, Contrary to popular belief? Is that an expression? Anyway, going against popular belief, matte colors are no harder to blend than shimmery colors. I don't know where that rumor started, but personally I find it completely untrue. Why we use matte colors is because matte colors absorb the light. So instead of highlighting and emphasizing hooded eyes, they're actually going to absorb the light back in and it's going to make the hood of the eye appear like it's been pushed back and that there is no hood there at all. So it makes that area look like a crease instead of a hood, if that's making any sense to you at all. Keep on watching and hopefully it will make sense to you. Of course, if you do not have hooded eyes, you can absolutely do this. You guys can do everything. So don't feel like for one second that you can't do these hooded eye looks because you guys definitely can. It's just us hooded eye people that struggle a little bit more. Every single product that I use will be linked in the description box down below, so check it out if you want to. Without further ado, let me get into the tutorial. Okay, I'm working from one palette today. This is a palette that I've had for ages and have actually never really gotten around to using and today I'm going to use it because it has all neutral nude colors and most of them are matte except for the highlight shades which is perfect when you're trying to make hooded eyes look bigger in a very natural way all right now step one with making eyes in general look bigger you need to highlight so the areas that you always want to highlight are the inner corners of the eyes here and underneath the arch of the brow bone i am taking this color here it is a shimmery, yes, shimmery, pale, pale, pale pink highlight shade. And I'm just going to go to town with applying that on the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm also going to carefully apply it onto the arch of the brow bone. What is this? Do not apply this highlight shade on the hood of your eye. So if there is not a lot of space between your eye and your eyebrow and you do not have a defined arch like me or other people, don't worry. Just take a very, very small or precise brush rather than a chunky blending brush like this and use that to apply your highlight shade so that you can control exactly where you are applying it and make sure you do not get it on the hood of your eye and you only get it directly underneath the arch of the brow bone. Alright, now I'm taking this shade here, am I? Yeah. This shade here, which is a very, very light top, and it is matte. This, <sighs> this shade is going to go all over our mobile lid, up into the crease in the dome shape. So hopefully you guys have seen my other tutorials on hooded eyes, and you know what I'm talking about when I say the dome shape. I'm going to apply that with this brush here. This is the base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And what you want to do with the dome shape is not bring it past the inner corner of your eye, and not bring it past the outer corner of your eye, and you want to apply it in a dome shape. So it kind of speaks for itself. Okay, so you can see how light that color is. That is it compared to this eye, which has no color yet. Now, as you can also hopefully see, I've brought that up onto the hood of my eye. So what you need to do is look at yourself front on in the mirror. If you open your eyes and you cannot see that you've applied any eyeshadow, for example, if your hood has kind of drooped over and covered where you've applied the eyeshadow, that shows you that you need to bring it up higher. You need to bring the eyeshadow up onto the hood of the eye so that it's visible and that you can see it. And then you need to blend it out from there. So that's what I've done. I've applied it up onto the hood of my eye like this. And because it is a very, very light top shadow, it does not require a lot of blending to make it look soft because it's soft as soon as you put it on, which is the beauty of this transition color. So we've just finished up using this color here. And now we're going to go on to this color here. So as you can see, this is one shade darker than this one and it's still matte and it is still a neutral. And now we're going to apply that to our eyes. I'm just using the same base shadow brush from Real Techniques. You don't have to clean it. Don't worry about that. And now we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did. However, we're not going to bring it up 
up quite as high as our original shade. The idea of this is to create a kind of gradient effect. So you want it to be the darkest above your lash line and then the further you get up to your eyebrows you want it to gradually lighten and that way you create a nice gradient effect and it's going to make the eyes appear a little bit rounder and more protruding which in turn is going to make them look bigger, okay? So I'm going to apply this directly to my mobile lid and then continue in the dome shape as I bring it up onto my hood. So as you can see it's darkened it a little bit but it is still completely wearable for daytime or work or job interview or whatever you want this natural look for. Okay now it's going to get a little bit fun because we're going to darken this up just a tad. So what I'm taking is this colour here. This is handwritten from MAC. You could also use Embark from MAC because they are pretty much identical colours. So that is the difference between the colours that we just used. This one is a little bit darker than our two neutrals that are on the top eyelid. Alright, now what I'm doing is taking a tiny little detailer brush. You guys know that I love these little brushes because they are so good for working shadows into the lash line. So I'm taking a little bit of handwritten and I'm going to smudge it through the top lash line. So close your eyes. You want to gently feather this brush with the shadow on it through the roots of your lashes. So you don't even need to open your eyes and look what you're doing. If you can feel that this is kind of rummaging through the roots that's good that's what you want the idea of this is to make the lash line appear thicker it's going to lift the eyes up by making your lashes appear thicker and in that sense make them look bigger okay now i'm taking a black eyeliner this is the chanel stilo u <laughs> waterproof eyeliner in black. So we're just taking a little bit of it and we're doing the exact same thing that we just did. We're just smudging this very gently through the roots of the lashes. So we're not drawing it onto the waterline or above the waterline. We're not doing a winged liner or anything like that. We're literally just making the roots of the lashes appear darker and thicker. So we've done the top eyelid for now, now we're moving on to the bottom eyelid. Do not forget about your bottom eyelid. Your bottom eyelid and your top eyelid have equal parts to play in making your entire eye look bigger. So I'm heading back to my neutrals palette and we're taking the original lightest transition colour that we were using, which was just the very, very light matte top. I'm taking again my base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm taking a very small amount of that eyeshadow and I'm just going to sweep it underneath my lower lash line. Don't worry about being too precise with this. Just don't bring it down too low or you risk making your eyes look a bit droopy. So keep it as close to the lash line as possible. There we go, so you should be able to see the difference there if I look at you's front on. Use? I never say that. If I look at you front on, you can see the difference. So there we go. This eye now has a more defined lower lid, whereas this one has nothing. Okay, now I'm going back in with my small detailing brush and handwritten from MAC. And I'm going to take a little bit of this on this and apply this directly underneath my lower lash line. So again, we're wanting to create a gradient effect, so we want the darkest colour to be on our lash line, then gradually fade down to nothing at all. Now going back in with my base shadow brush, I'm going to very gently blend that out so it's not so harsh, and so that the darkest colour fades into the lightest colour nice and softly. Alrighty, now what I'm going to do is take a clean tissue on my fingernail like this. Don't do this if you feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it does help a little bit. What we're going to do is apply a white inner rim brightener. So if you've got any leftover black or any eyeshadow on the inner rims of your eyes, that might actually mix with the white eyeliner and just create a murky kind of colour, which isn't really the look we're going for, to be honest. So I'm just going to clean that inner rim with this clean tissue, but like I said, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, don't do it.
So yeah, my inner rims are now clean. I'm going in with Sigma's Unclouded Eyeliner. This is a white eyeliner, but it's got a metallic finish to it. So it really catches the light and it makes your eyes look bigger, more open and more awake. And I'm going to apply that to the inner rim of my lower lash line. That is my white eyeliner on now. It makes a difference in how big your eyes look because it makes it appear like your inner rim of the lower lash line is actually eyeball and not inner rim. So that's good. The next step is mascara. So you want to really go to town on your lashes. If you have hooded eyes and you want to make them look bigger, you need to really volumize your lashes. So my favorite mascara of the moment is Chanel La Volume Mascara in black. I'm going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes, but I'm going to really build it up so that my eyelashes will open my eyes up. Remember, eyelashes are an extension of your eye. They're like little branches that grow from your eyes, and the bigger they are, the bigger your entire eye area looks. So for that reason, please emphasize your lashes. Alright, there we go. So one eye has mascara on, one doesn't, and you can see how much bigger this one looks look, looks already in comparison to this puny one here. Okay, so my mascara is on and hopefully my eyes are looking quite a bit bigger now than what they did earlier. Now you can stop here if you want to. So you do not have to apply false lashes if you do not want to. However, I really like false lashes, so I'm going to apply a natural pair. These are from BH Cosmetics and they are very natural, but they will make a slight difference in making the eyes look even bigger than they do already. There we are guys, so that is everything finished. My eyelashes are on. Let me know if you found that helpful by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it at all. <laughs> Remember, every single thing that I've used will be in the description box down below. Come and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They will also be in the description box down below. Subscribe to my channel if you so desire to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Goodbye. Bye.